you know me as Axel from The Walking Dead. And I'm here in Seattle at the Seattle Crypticon, and I'm super excited to be here with Troy. We're doing a podcast this afternoon, Saturday afternoon, Seattle, Saturday in Seattle. And, so, uh, oh, sorry. Happy to be here. Awesome. We're happy to have you sit down and talk to us. Yeah, man. How did you get involved with The Walking Dead? Uh, interestingly, I have been uh, uh, auditioned for The Walking Dead for the role of Merle. Really? Not. I had. Wow. And then, uh, uh, thankfully, they hired Michael Rooker. And then they asked me to come in to audition for Merle's brother. At that time, they did not have a name of Daryl. And thankfully, they hired Norman Reedus. So then they found a place for me uh, by a character named Baxel. So uh, they had known a little bit about me, but they wanted to see me kind of put it on tape and develop him. And uh, they actually had me do a scene with T-Dog where we talked about our mustaches. T-Dog has a bit of a mustache, but certainly not conversation worthy. Uh, so it was all faux material, if you will. But I came in to The Walking Dead thinking that I was going to be an angel of mercy type of killer and steal a child and go off into the woods. And of course, Axel went uh, a different direction and we were able to do a lot of great things with him. We're real proud of the work that we did with Axel. Did you receive any real life, um, kind of because of where you were in the jail and everything, any real life, uh, oh my gosh, I can't believe that you're in prison kind of thing? The hate mail kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, we got a little bit of that. Uh, it, the main thing was is that people were so excited because Axel's in the graphic novels that people were really excited to have Axel introduced. So uh, there was definitely some people that looked for Axel to be a little more uh, bulky, a little older. Uh, there were different types of actors that they had envisioned him being. Um, but at the end of the day, I hope that I was able to, to change their mind to be able to uh, give my Axel. Uh, well, I was well aware of Axel in the graphic novel. I wanted to sort of offer my spin on Axel. And that was somebody that was very hilarious, very colloquial. One of the things we talked about was having uh, fangs, if you will, in the closet. Uh, in the event that we were going to take Axel down a different road, and there was some creepiness to him where he could be a serial killer or a, a rapist or something of that nature. Uh, but in the end, I'd like to think that, I, that Axel was a cool dude and that people uh, really genuinely enjoyed him. I thought he was going to be a potential love interest for Carol. Definitely oh, that, yeah. yeah. Uh, which which that actually brings me to, uh, we, we have subscribers ask questions too. Yeah, man. Branson Haunted Hills, when you had to say the line, I didn't mean no offense, I've been locked up a long time while and, well, there weren't any, there weren't many women. You know the line better than I do. I'm all yeah. bundling it up. You follow me? I mean, Maggie's, she's with Glenn, and you're a lesbian. Yeah. Did she you, crack up laughing? You got the short hair. <laughs> uh, yeah, we were. Uh, you know what I like to say about Axel is he was, he wore his heart on his sleeve, and he often said the things that all of the audience was thinking. Weren't we all kind of wondering about Carol? Yeah. Yeah. And wasn't that sort of an answer? And that she wasn't a lesbian. Um, she offered that, and I took it as Axel as the, the gospel. My, my, this is interesting. And then she offered, uh, no it isn't. And uh, it was such a great deadpan drop by the actress Melissa McBride. I thought she played it so well. How many uh, takes were involved with that? Well, that was interesting because on the day, we had shot all day, and we had a lot of exteriors to cover, and that was a last minute. That was, we, can we get it, can we get it? No, no, let's not do it. It's too important a to scene. Let's do it. So we actually didn't do it very often. We did it a couple of ways, and the way that it, it aired was perfect. So uh, I'm really, it's, it's my favorite. It's my favorite segment that I did as action. Creepy Hollow says, I th he just commented that he thinks it's terrible that you died only after a few episodes. You could have been a nice fit for the group. And going into it, did you know that you were going to be short-lived? I did not. I sort of had the impression, of course, knowing the graphic novels, I knew that Axel had an end. But I also felt like he was going to be carried through with the survival group through the prison, at least until perhaps more the end of the season three and into season four. 
Uh, but when they called and said, look, we're going to have to give you a bullet in the head, of course you do the, uh, uh, the denial and the appeal dance. No, not me. There's a couple other jerks out there I think you ought to take out. Uh, and then when you recognize this is actually going to happen, um, they invited me into the writer's room to help build what eventually was going to occur. So they did tell me three weeks in advance that this was going to happen. And uh, then I wrapped my head around it and found peace with it. It's hard though with friends and family because you you can't tell anybody. You know that was important to me to not tell anybody, including my parents, that this was going down because I wanted everybody to have the same experience, including them. I definitely wanted them to have the experience of of, of being shocked and gut punched. We definitely wanted it to be a gut punch to the audience. Pull the carpet out from underneath them. That no, this because we just getting to know him, weren't we? So what were your most memorable times with the cast on the show? Well, my most memorable time is the idea that our very first scene, and you'll remember when Herschel gets his leg cut off and the prisoners are revealed, yep. where I say, holy shit, uh -huh. when I see that. Uh, the cast, the survival group, Rick and, 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 and Scott and, and all the people that were involved in that scene had that day off. And they actually came in on their day off. Yeah, they're back. They're and played that scene for us, the prisoners, to let us know what the intensity level of it was. And then we were able to react to that. And that showed me right then and there what a hard-working group and what a, a, a uh, absolutely devoted group of actors, writers, producers that it was. Uh, also, my, my man over here, Vincent Ward, who plays Oscar, is such a delightful, dear friend of mine. That, uh, it was one of the things that, that I really took was that, that friendship and relationship. But I'm close with everyone still. I still am uh, I'm very close with, with Andrew Lincoln, and I, I, I set him up with suits over in the UK as well as David Morris, even though David shot me in the head. Uh, Norman Reedus and I like to go out and have an adult beverage from time to time. And uh, it's uh, very delightful, and, and uh, I, I just I adore the whole group, and it, it, it was it was important. It was great. What can we expect from you in the future? Well, I have the Lone Ranger coming out on July the third. It's a big Disney tentpole franchise piece, uh, directed by Gore Verbinski, who does the Pirates of the Caribbean. And uh, there's this new guy, Johnny Depp, who, uh, you know, he's kind of an <laughs> Who's that? Player. I know. I, I, I keep your eye out on him, though. I think he's got some legs. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's great. We've traded out pirate ships for horses and, and pirates for cowboys. So it's uh, it's a great family film. It's action plus. It's just going to be super exciting, and I'm really proud to be attached. It was such an experience to be on a horse for three months out in sacred ground that John Ford shot on and, and all the wonderful cinema in uh, New Mexico and Arizona and Utah, uh, Monument Valley, Canyon de Chez. It was such a delight. I uh, just finished a movie called Wicked Blood with Abigail Breslin, Little Miss Sunshine, uh, Sean Bean from Game of Thrones, James, Pier James Purifoy from The Following, uh, Alexa Vega, uh, Spy Kids and Jake Bucci, uh Frighteners. And this is an action adventure suspense thriller that's going to be fantastic. I have a horror film coming out called Zombex with Sid Haig and Malcolm McDowell and myself about a conspiracy theory for uh, the Katrina that uh, pharmaceuticals were pitched down into the uh, New Orleans area and it went rogue and caused some flesh and zombies. It becomes a little bit of a road movie like Zombieland. So so I have some great stuff coming out, and I'm excited for all of them. We look forward to it. Right on. So um, I just want to say thank you for the time. Hello, I'm Lou Temple. You know me as Axel from The Walking Dead, and I say to you, happy haunting. You follow me?